Welcome to Megahertz 30 channel. Hey there. So, uh, the Boss G7. Uh, nice equalizer pedal. A bit noisy. Um, the problem seems to be that uh, it has um, these chips operational amplifiers and uh, they basically amplify the signal and uh, they're the cause of the noise so what I'll be doing is replacing the original uh, operational, operational amplifiers op amps for short uh, with uh, some other ones that are less noisy they do the same job but they are less noisy but uh, let me show you uh, quickly uh, how noisy uh, it is and how it works in terms of noise. So, here we have the pedal on the floor turned off. So, uh, it's connected to a guitar. Okay, the guitar has the volume on zero. It has to be connected to something to turn on. And it's connected on the output to this Marshall amp. So the amp has the gain on full here and it has a natural noise. I'm recording it. Uh, okay. So let's turn on the pedal. So it increased a little bit the noise. But now, notice, even, even if I cut down the signal on the frequencies, it increases immensely. Even if I cut down the uh, gain of the pedal, the uh, level, so this, everything is, is at minimum. If I turn off the pedal, it gets less, less noisier. If I turn on, with everything reduced, everything uh, attenuated, it increases the noise. Rather unpleasant. So, let's uh, do the modification and see what we get. Okay, so the pedal has these three, three uh, op amps, three chips, and this is what I'm going to replace. They are the JRC022D, uh, so I will desolder them now, all three of them. Notice they have a little indentation here, and that uh, shows the orientation of the first pin. So the first pin should be uh, this side, okay? So let's desolder them.
So I'm going to replace them with these sockets so I can easily uh, put the new uh, chips in place <clears throat> without risking you know overheating them so I'm going to solder uh, this socket So all the sockets are in place now and I will put the chips. Just have to bend the pins a little bit so they are straight. Make sure they are aligned straight. Here we go. One is that. One is down. Two more to go. So checking the tag to put in the right uh, orientation. pins a little bit inside so. okay so ran out of battery there sorry for that but all the um, the chips are in place, let's reassemble and uh, test. It's 
So as you could see, that was the wrong orientation for the chip. Uh, that indentation uh, was pointing in the wrong direction. So now I've corrected the mistake and now I've reassembled the pedal and now we shall check out the result. Okay, so everything is assembled back together and correctly. So we have the pedal connected to a guitar with volume on zero and connected to the amp with the gain on full. Okay, let's turn on. Okay, slightly slight bit of noise. Slight increase, but yeah, seems much better now in terms of noise. So yeah, nice successful mod. So that's it, uh, it's done. Uh, so just to recap uh, the chip that the chips that I used to replace the original ones are the RC 4558P. Uh, I think they are made by Texas Instruments. And there are other chips that are compatible that you can use, but to be aware that, or rather, uh, take notice of the power that they draw because you know if you're using the pedal with uh, uh, batteries uh, but with a battery uh, you know uh, if you use chips that draw significantly more power uh, the battery life will be shorter uh, of course if you power your pedals with uh, power supply uh, I guess it's not much of an issue. So, uh, let's recap uh, the before and after and uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching.